Now let's flip it over to the positive side. Welcome to my channel. We are doing a little follow up with the Morphe Jeffree Star collab. I have not exchanged my palette yet, but I am going to do it today. I didn't get a chance to do it the other day, but this is still my same palette. I did play with this a bunch yesterday after I put my video up and I have some notes. <laughs> I know I sound like such a weirdo, but I haven't played with the pink shade. So that's why I'm super pink today. And I also decided to put on false eyelashes for like the first time in a really long time. But if you're curious about what false eyelashes these are, these are from Crave Lashes and they're in the style Chocolate Souffle. And they're pretty nice. It's just a little weird because I haven't worn fake eyelashes in so long. But I just felt like with this more dramatic look that I wanted to put a little fake eyelashes on, but whatever. So I wrote down notes. So I went through and I used every single shade using like doing an eye look and I wrote down the shades that I was having a lot of problems with and the shades that I was not having any problems with so obviously if you watched my last video I'll have it over there uh wand noise has consistently been a problem shade for sure this one for some reason like I can pick it up on my finger and it looks really good but Every time I put it on my eyes, it's just, I have to build it up, build it up. And then you all saw in my last video when I tried to wet the eyeshadow, it just got really weird with the matte shades. Not, not my favorite thing. The next problem shade, surprisingly, is the shade Girl, which is like the same formulation as Wand Noise. But I wasn't really thinking that this shade was going to have problems. But I tried using it wet, dry, on top of a sticky primer, and this one just didn't really want to evenly distribute on my eyes. And if I do have pictures of the eye looks, I'll put them up to kind of show you. And then obviously, hi dude. For some reason, whenever I use this shade to deepen up another eyeshadow, it just starts to look really patchy, really strange, not my favorite at all because I used it a couple times and it just, I don't know what the heck is wrong with it. It looks very weird. I can't really figure that one out. The problem with the matte shades is not the actual matte shade, if that makes sense. So like when I do something like this, that doesn't require a lot of blending, they look good. But whenever I try to like precisely put it somewhere and blend it out, that's when I start running into the problems with the matte shades to where they start getting patchy, they disappear, they start fading, they get like weird parts where it's not as blended and then there's lines. So that's the main problem that I found with the matte shades. And then Don't Know Her is another shimmer shade that is in the same kind of family. This one is not as bad as these two because I feel like it has some of those like shimmer, it has like these silvery reflex in it. So the reflex kind of mistake it to look better than it does on the actual eyes. This one just, it's the same thing where I have to like really build it up. It doesn't really want to stick in one spot. Some spots is more pigmented than other spots and just a mess. And then honest truth, I don't know if you can tell, but even in the pan, it's a lot darker around the edges than it is in the center of the eyeshadow. And I don't really know why that's happening, but it has this really odd formula to it. Let me put my um, thing down, but even like when I swatch it, it just gets like weird. Like some parts are darker, some parts are lighter. It gets texture on it. I don't really understand this shade at all, but I tried using Honest Truth a couple times as a transition shade and it just wouldn't evenly distribute the color and it's very powdery. So it was flaking powder everywhere. Not my ideal thing. And then the next one is Calabasas, which is another one 
that I have a really big issue with mainly because this one fades like crazy now I really love the actual shade of this this like wine berry shade but it's just I want it to look like this on my eyes and it frustrates me that it fades so much but I even tried it again last night and I don't know why it just it fades so bad I don't know what's wrong with it and then when you try to deepen it up it gets like the lines and it just gets patchy and like I want to use this shade and I'm drawn to Calabasas the fact that it gets weird I'm like and then I even tried mixing it with Fastlane. Fastlane I don't have a problem with by the way. So Fastlane I have as my wing eyeshadow I guess you could say and this one I don't have a problem with so I was like maybe if I mix it with Calabasas and deepen up my outer corner. Nope. No no. And then the last one is Glam Rapids. I didn't have a lot of problems with these shimmer shades over here but for some reason Glam Rapids is another one of the shades that are similar to like wand noise and girl to where it just wouldn't really show up on my eyes it just hard to build up wasn't a lot of payoff that i was hoping for but now let's flip it over to the positive sides so the shades that i was playing with that i actually was impressed with are two so this shimmer shade i actually do like this one I have it as my inner corner highlight today. I don't know if you can tell, but I do like this one. I think it looks really pretty and I don't find it to be fading or anything weird. It's pretty easy to build up. You don't have to use it wet. I just use it dry. And then drive through. I loved drive through. This one, I used it with my finger and it showed up perfectly fine. Didn't fade, didn't do anything weird. So I really like drive through a lot. And then Dog Mom, I do like Dog Mom, but it's like in the, in a little bit. I like Dog Mom over top of eyeshadows. I don't like it by itself. And I think that's just because of the actual shade because it's pretty light on my skin tone. It's not like drive through where it's like a green, you're gonna really notice it. So this one I like as more like a topper or like an inner corner highlight and not so much as a lid shade because it doesn't really show up that much on my lid. And then what's the tea? I didn't have any problems with this shade so far. Even though this is a little bit of a deeper shade, this one I didn't have any problems with. I used it in a couple different looks and even in my original video, I didn't really have any problems with it showing up or fading or anything weird like that and then broom broom is also another one that i like i actually been using this to deepen up a lot of the eyeshadow looks that i've done like i even did it today where i added it a little bit with the pink and that's what that kind of purplish shade is on my lids with uh, these three pink shades on my eyes right now so these two I do like so far. I haven't had any problems with those. And then Wake and Bake, I do like this one. Though Wake and Bake and Nate are hard to blend. They look really good like if you want to do like a look like this and then put it all over the lid and not really have to blend it. They do look good but when you try to blend these two together they get really strange. Especially Nate. I don't really understand what is up but as far as like blending it out like this it would be fine or putting it all over your lid or even probably like a wing like this these are pretty good but if you want to deepen up wake and bake with nate it it gets a little weird if you want it to be like really smooth and transitional oh and then custom rim is actually one of my favorite shimmers in this palette because this one i don't have any problems with and it's actually the one that I, I put Dog Mom on and then I felt like I needed a little bit more pizzazz. So I put custom rims on top of it to add a little bit more shimmer on my lid. And I do like that one. Doesn't have any weird things going on with it. And then I know this is a very odd thing to say, but 1985, I do like that shade a lot as a transition shade with the other transition shades, especially Honest Truth. Uh, like I said, that one's like a little bit too soft 
and it just gets powdery. It, it changes colors on my eyes. This one was very, what is the word? What is the word I'm thinking of? I don't know what word I'm thinking of, but it just performed the same every time. Like it didn't have anything weird going on with it. It looked the same on my eyes. It blended everything out really well. So I do like that one. And then everything else that I didn't mention are like man shades that I could, I'm like, I don't hate them, but I don't love them. So that's my thoughts on this palette. So now that we've kind of gone through this, I do, what I've wanted to do with this is I'm gonna go and exchange this palette for a new palette. And with the notes that I have of the problem shades, I'm gonna come back with a new palette and see if those problem shades are still problem shades with the new palette or if it's just my palette because I tried using concealer and I tried using my Anastasia primer. I did not use the Morphe primer when I was experimenting with this. Like today I have the Anastasia primer on and everything looks pretty good. Nothing's really fading or anything weird like that. So I'm gonna go and exchange this and then we're gonna do a look and see if we're still having the same problems with this. So this is one of my first Morphe palettes that I've ever had. And this is the 35B. And this palette is very old. <laughs> um, but I like it because it's one of my first colorful palettes. It is very, very dinged up if you can't tell. But when using this palette, I don't have any problems with fading. I don't have any problems with like the shimmer shades, like they're super soft, like I can hardly touch them and they show up no problem. And I just don't understand, like maybe it's just like a new thing that I'm just not used to. Like, the, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but I have used all of the shades in this palette a bajillion times. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on. It could be that I'm just not used to Morphe's formula but I love this palette and another thing that I want to say before I jump in to exchanging the palette is that, is that I did try a bunch of different techniques I did try the technique of building up the color and then lightly blending it out I tried just blending it out like I normally do I've tried wetting the brush I've tried concealer eyeshadow primer like I've tried a lot of different things, but without trying it last night, these are my thoughts on all of the shades. And hopefully you can kind of see what I'm talking about with the pictures, but I didn't have all my lights on when I was taking a picture, so the light, the lighting is a little weird. But now let's get into exchanging this palette and really seeing if it's the palette or what is the problem here. All right, so I just got back home from the mall and everything. I'm a little greasy, but I got the correct brush set. And if you guys want me to use this brush set as a different individual video, just let me know where I can go over each brush and maybe rate them to see if it's worth it or not. But I will use some of them when I do the other look in this video. And I got brand spanking new palette. Let's see here. All right, you can see they're completely untouched and brand new. So what I'm going to do is, this video is probably going to come out really late, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my makeup off that I have right now. I'm going to do a look. I don't really know if it's going to be a pretty look, but I'm going to try out all the shades that I mentioned earlier that were problem shades and see if there's still a problem with the new exchanged palette. So I just took off my eye makeup. My eyes are stained from where the pink eyeshadows were from earlier. And I also threw on a little bit of lip gloss. It's the Dirty Royalty shade right back there. But I took out all of the brand new brushes from the actual brush set that I was supposed to get. Y'all, I don't know how to express to you of how stupid I felt in that video, but whatever. So we have the brand new palette and I have the whole list of all the shades that I wanna try and focus on that were the bad shades. 
So we have wand noise, girl, hi dude, don't know her, honest truth, calabasas, and glam rapids. I don't know if I can get to all of the shimmer shades, but I'm gonna try and do a look on my eyes that looks like an actual look, but still trying to test out these shades. So I'm gonna do the Anastasia eye primer. I'm gonna cover up that staining, which I'm not mad that it stains. I just wanted to let you guys know why my eyes are so pink. All right, so now I've got the eyeshadow primer on. I'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want to go completely out of frame again. But I think I want to start off with this brush, the JS9 brush. And I'm going to take Honest Truth, tap off the excess, and try and put it in my crease as a transition shade. I'm just gonna try and work super slowly with this palette. I'm really trying to get this work. Tapping off the excess powder. Okay, it's taken me a bit to build this color up, but we are here now. And then I'm gonna take the, take the JS6 brush and Calabasas, tap off the excess, just start building it up in the outer V, very lightly. Let's hope this doesn't fade, because that's one of my big problems with the shade Calabasas, is that it looks really good at first, and then it really starts to fade on me. And then now I'm just blending it into the crease a little bit really lightly and then now i'm just gonna go back in with a little bit of honest truth blending out the edges just a bit more i'm really scared to get into the shimmer shades i am gonna try out the js 11 brush and i'm gonna go into don't know her i'm not going to wet it but i am gonna pack it on the brush a bit So this is my third layer with a dry brush. See, it's still getting kind of patchy. I don't know if it's gonna let you see because it's more of a shimmer shade, but it's like some parts is more pigmented than other parts. And I keep trying to build it up. And then I'm just gonna clean the brush off and I'm gonna go into the shade Wand Noise which is the shade that disappoints me the most. Layering and layering. Okay, so I've layered it up a ton. It looks decent, definitely not my favorite. And then I'm gonna take Glam Rapids, which is another one. Again, I'm just I'm gonna build it up like crazy on the brush. Oh, okay. This one is definitely noticeably different for some reason. I don't really understand that. But the first time I use this, and another thing to note is I, for the first palette, did all of my swatches first. So it could be this like top layer Maybe I just was digging into my other shades too much. All right, I'm just gonna touch up a little bit with the Don't Know Her shade. I'm gonna take the JS12 brush with Hi Dude, which is that matte brown shade. We're gonna try deepening up the crease with this. It's not terrible, not terrible. And then I also want to take the JS8 brush and a little bit of Wake and Bake, which is the green shade. Tap off the excess, and I want to put this towards... Is there anything on my brush? Uh, what? Now I'm having problems with this green shade. This is like three layers later. After trying to build up this green shade, I feel like it's getting really splotchy. 
and I'm starting to get a little frustrated and I keep going over what the heck all right let me move on I'm gonna take the JS 10 brush and hi dude and just put it right up against my lash line here and build it up a little bit and then I'm gonna take Calabasas and run that over hi dude and then i haven't used the shade girl yet so i'm going to take the js 13 and take a little bit of the shade girl i'm going to run this under the front part of my lower lash line this one definitely looks a lot better that's a little weird oh i was wondering what the heck this shimmer is all over the place and i was like oh yeah i put on glam wrap it but it's just kind of a bunch of shimmer now. <laughs> but I'm also gonna put Glam Rapids on my inner corner. Build it up. And then I'm gonna take Dog Mom and use that as a brow bone highlight. So I've used just about every brush in the set, but the JS5, JS7, and the JS14 are the three that I did not use. They felt pretty good, but I wanted to show you guys the pretty much final look. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around for a little bit, see if anything fades weird, anything along those lines, and then I'll check back in with some final thoughts. I've given this eyeshadow look a little bit of time to see if it's going to fade or anything like that, and it's actually holding up pretty freaking well. I'm honestly pretty impressed. Not even gonna lie. I am still very skeptical about this palette, but I think number one, not digging my fingers into it with the swatches to begin with helped a lot. I think tapping off the excess powder and really taking my time on blending helped a lot. I think building the eyeshadows up dry and not getting the pans like sealed over or anything, that helped a lot. As of right now, I'm still very skeptical about this palette, but I'm definitely happy that this has turned out pretty well since these are all the shades that I was having a lot of problems with since I, I showed you guys earlier. So I'm actually quite impressed, so I would suggest if you guys are having problems with your palette to maybe exchange it and see if maybe that could be the issue. I am going to continue to play with this for about a week or two. If it does start acting like the other palette, I will update you guys in the description box. But as of right now, I'm honestly happy. I'm quite impressed. I mean, the green shade did perform a little funky, but I mean, it's not the worst. Like, it's not anything close to what I was looking at and dealing with earlier, so I'm okay with the green shade acting a little weird, but it could be that I should have put the matte shade on before the shimmer shade. But I also think that's another thing with this palette is that definitely, like, working with it and taking your time and kind of focusing on what you're doing. These brushes were all clean and brand new. I had the different eyeshadow primer on here. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think that there's some excuses that I could come up with as to why this one's performing better, like me swatching all of the shades before actually using it on my eyes, using the Morphe primer before. There's a bunch of different reasons that I could probably think of, but as of right now, I'm pretty happy with where this is at. And I wanted to update you guys to see what your thoughts are on this. If you think maybe what I mentioned earlier could be what's wrong with it, or maybe I just had a bad palette, but I'm just trying to be completely honest with you guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, but if you missed my last video, it'll be right over here, and this video over here is suggested to you by YouTube, and 
this is my face and you can click on it and subscribe to my channel.